What's up, Royal family? I've done videos about moving to Atlanta, living in Atlanta, and which places to avoid while in Atlanta. Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to do a top 10 countdown of the places that you should move to if you decide to move to Atlanta. Engage. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. Moving to Atlanta has been one of the best decisions I have made for my life. It has a lot of upsides. If you are duped into moving into one of the places that I mentioned on my last video about Atlanta, you may feel like it's the worst decision that you could have possibly made. This countdown about the best places to move in Atlanta, which was highly requested, should steer you in the right direction about where to live in Atlanta so you can have a positive experience just like I'm having. Number 10, Fairburn. South of the city and west of Clayton County, you will find Fairburn. The best part about living in Fairburn is it is extremely close to the airport. Most of the houses here consist of fine period pieces because this place is full of history and character. You'll never hear me claiming that Atlanta is perfect and Fairburn certainly isn't. But for someone who is on a budget and is leaving their city with the bare minimums, Fairburn will welcome you. You can get a rental house and pay less than 900 a month. Number nine is Kennesaw. If you travel north on the I-75, you will wind up in Kennesaw. The most notable thing about Kennesaw is you are required to have a gun if you own a home. Kennesaw is not the prettiest place to live in metro Atlanta area, but the prices for homes are amazing. They are rising, but right now the median 255k gets you a home that would be larger than most. There are shopping areas, malls, and lots of restaurants to choose to spend your days in. Number 8 is Alpharetta. The median home cost in Alpharetta is 389k. So we are getting back up there in price. The thing about Alpharetta is it is very far northeast of the city. This is probably the furthest you would want to commute home if you work in the inner cities of Atlanta. These are some of the more expensive houses, but it will be the most bang for your buck if you want to live secluded. Number seven is Camp Creek Parkway. The good side of Camp Creek is west of the 285 Highway. But if you get to Fulton Industrial Boulevard, you've definitely gone too far. I'm not sure if this area has an official name, but you will find easy living here. Big beautiful houses, but not so snooty neighbors. If you can, try to live behind the LA Fitness and Camp Creek Marketplace. As you can tell, travel is my passion. If travel is your passion, this area is only about four to five minutes of driving away from the busiest airport in the world, Hartsville Jackson. It's even closer than Fairburn. You can't beat this location especially if you are air commuter or you work in the airline industry. Speaking of travel, if you are considering taking a trip anytime soon, consider price checking on the Passport Kings travel portal. Click the link above. It's the same exact process as booking through the well-known booking engines like Expedia and their umbrella of well-known booking portals, except I will get the commission instead of Barry Diller. Number six, North Decatur. Not to be confused with South Decatur. Once you start seeing all of the Emory hospitals, you will know that you are in the right area. If you have any interest in the medical field, you pretty much need to live in this area. The center of this area has outrageous prices, but around the outskirts, are homes surprisingly affordable for someone who doesn't have the experience and education intensive credentials. When I first moved to Atlanta, my wife and I worked for the Emory brand of hospitals and schools for a very long time. They have their own temporary agency. Someone in a previous video asked me which temp service would I recommend when first moving to Atlanta, and Emory Temp Services is definitely it. I'll try to put a link below where you can get set up. They will not hire you immediately, but with hard work and tenacity, you can find yourself living a pretty good life in Atlanta working at Emory Temp Services until they put you on permanently and you start investing your money back into the market. Now make sure you watch the end of the video so you can download my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification button. Number five is Sandy Springs. Immediately north of the inner city of Atlanta and right above Buckhead, you will find Sandy Springs. Sandy Springs is expensive and it has every right to be. 
The houses that line the streets in this area look like they were custom built by millionaires. The average home cost in Sandy Springs area is about 450k. So to live here, you should already be making some serious money. How snooty my neighbors are are really important to me. And the snootier, the more turned off I am. Sandy Springs may have some snooty neighbors. But the good thing about Sandy Springs is many homes are individually gated and those where the entire community is gated. The houses are so far apart, no one will bother you for months on end. If you're not able to move here at first, move to Atlanta, get yourself together, and then make Sandy Springs your ultimate destination. Number four is Mableton. Mableton is in Cobb County, just west of the Vinings and Marietta. Mableton has a very rich mix of older homes and new homes and subdivisions. The median cost of a home is about 220K, and you will get a whole lot of bang for your buck. Mableton is hidden in between the more popular areas, so it's getting spillover of nice neighborhoods into the northern side of this region. Just remember to not go too far west or you might end up in Douglasville. Douglasville took the number one spot on my countdown of worst places to live in Atlanta. Six Flags roller coaster may be full of thrills, but if you look up in the skies and you can see the rails of that amusement park, you know you've wandered a little too far west. <laughs> Bring it back in. Number three is Buckhead. Buckhead is the most popular place in Atlanta. It may be too fast paced and thrilling for people who are not moving in from big cities, but it's perfect for people who are. It's definitely too expensive for people who are moving in from small towns to try to find a better life in Atlanta. But if you can afford it, this is the pinnacle of Atlanta's bright lights and big city living. I know I always brushed off the gay talk about Atlanta, but if you are gay, Lenox Mall is dead center of Buckhead and it seems to be the epicenter of gay stuff. <laughs> if you're straight, don't let the gay brigade deter you. Buckhead is stylish and has the best clubs and eateries that your girlfriend or wife will want to go to. If you ever looked at a show on TV about Atlanta and you see all the beautiful homes and cars, chances are they were filming in Buckhead. It's like living in black Hollywood. It's not good for people who want life to slow down, but it's perfect for people who want constant excitement. Number two is Atlantic Station. Atlantic Station is a haven for young professionals and singles. The high rises are filled to the brims with women who are serious about being beautiful and taking care of their careers and dudes who are only interested in securing the bag. You will be living directly above and around some of the most hip places in Atlanta. This can be considered Midtown Midtown. The neighborhood is less than 10 years old. It didn't even exist when I first moved to Atlanta. You could tell that the architects and construction crews tried to keep being cool in mind while they built everything around here. This area is right off the highway and is very popular. If you are just visiting Atlanta, I suggest you spend at least one of your Friday nights in Atlantic Station. I think it was solely created for people who just got divorced and moved to Atlanta. The community seems to be close-knit. Millennials are some of the most successful travel partners we have in our company. And when you're ready to be serious about making some residual income, be sure to attend one of the meetings that I always tell you about at the end of my videos. Those successful millennials usually live in Atlantic Station. Now this is the part where I usually tell you that I want to meet you at 7 p.m. on Tuesday in Atlanta, but during this crisis with the uh, virus, we are only having online seminars. So what I want you to do is send me a message on Facebook saying that you are interested in the online seminar and I can um, invite you into the Zoom group and then you can get a full presentation of what we do in the travel industry and how we make money. Also, I want to tell you about the new podcast that I created. It's called the Royal Tribal Cast, and it comes on every day at 3 p.m. So if you have any of the podcast uh, drivers like uh, Google Podcast or Apple iTunes, uh, my podcast is available on all of those um, outlets. You can listen in or call in and join. All right, so number one is Vining. The Vining's area is rated one of the best places to raise a family and job growth. Construction of new residences is at an all-time high. The new Brave Stadium in Cobb County has hiked a lot of the prices in this area, but the stadium is also not close enough to put prices out of the range of normal families. The Vinings is rated one of the best places to raise a family and job growth. The majority of the time that I lived in Atlanta, I lived in the Vinings. Construction of new residences is at an all-time high. The new Brave Stadium in Cobb County has hiked up a lot of the prices, but in this area, the stadium is not close enough to put prices out of range for normal families. Highway rides from the Vinings can get you anywhere in the city in a matter of minutes. And that includes the airport and Midtown. 
Binance is in an excellent location. Are you planning on moving to Atlanta? Type, I'm on my way to Atlanta in the comment section below. Tell me about your concerns, fears, and what excites you. And hopefully I can address those in a future Passport Kings travel video. I love reading your comments and responding to you. And check out the entire Moving to Atlanta focused playlist that I'm attaching to the end credits. So you can learn everything that I've learned and my experience of moving to Atlanta. That way, when you come here, you can be fully prepared like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.